All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Eve Moons mod, which is being made by form user Jacob JHC. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, rather self explanatory. It's more moons for Eve, and they are some pretty lovely little things. So let's jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get, which uh, this is going to be a pretty short episode today as this mod does only add in two new moons but they are rather spectacular so let's zoom in to eve and typically of course all we'd have around eve is the lonely little moon of gilly but now it is joined in orbit by the moons of scarab as well as Vern. And uh, so yeah let's take a look at the first of these moons which is scarab which um you can probably tell is very, very similar to Eve. In fact, it's meant to be sort of a twin to Eve, just much, much smaller. All in all, though, a pretty awesome little moon with that same gorgeous purple hue to its atmosphere and the deadly, deadly purple oceans. Now, as for the stats on this thing, it is 240 kilometers in a radius with, of course, an atmosphere. And all in all, we'll have uh, less gravity than Eve, so a little bit easier to get to and land on, but a very cool little moon, and I love the info panel on this one that basically is saying that this moon was created, or at least was thought to be created, uh, when a large body crashed into Eve, forming Scarab, thus why it shares a lot of the same similarities to its atmosphere and body, etc., which is pretty cool, and all in all, just a fun moon and I mean come on imagine the gorgeous view of Eve from the surface of Scarab it's just a good look now the other moon and of course the final of the two that we have here is Vern also thought to have been formed by the collision with Eve of whatever it was that created Scarab this much smaller little thing is well as the info panel says here basically a burnt husk of a little world with a surprising lack of volcanism despite its very hot core and be careful when you're on the surface as there might be the odd drop of lava and all in all pretty cool little place kind of reminds me of a walnut cool moon though now as for this one stats it is only six kilometers in size so it is a tiny and of course being that small having a no atmosphere to speak of but all in all a good little moon and now let's take a closer look here at scarab from our viewmatic satellite in orbit and uh yeah it is just a gorgeous place i mean come on how could you not love scarab if you are a fan of eve they are well as the mod intends them to be sort of twins of one another and it is just a gorgeous sight and very cool having all the same sort of uh, purple oceans here though of course much smaller than the larger oceans that we do have on Eve but a very cool little moon and Vern not too shabby itself a fun small little celestial body to give you a bit of a fun time to try and land on and I mean come on who doesn't like more celestial bodies in this game but yeah that's really it for this uh, video here. Not a whole lot to go over with two moons. Now, of course, I probably should mention, though you've all already probably guessed, you do need Copernicus as a prerequisite to make this run, just like any other planet pack out there. And uh, yeah, I definitely say to give this one a try. It's just a fun little addition to the stock system. So if you would like to have a look, you can have a gander at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.